Nilsson from Sweden, nearest the camera. Up against Mark Felix, who lives in Blackburn. Are you comes ready? From Grenada. Mark Felix, he's really got to start getting his aggression moving and take this to Samuelson. Jamie Reeves, absolutely right here. Mark Felix, a first timer in World's Strongest Man, up against a man who's a former champion back in 1998 and has been competing here in World's Strongest Man for the last 10 years. An experience may mean something. Felix fell down, he's lost some distance on the street there. And now Samuelson is coming away. Both men, though, gaining bonus points all the time, but who's going to win it? Felix looking good, and Samuelson over the line first, but the anchor's got to get across the line, and he does it. Six points. Can Mark Felix get five? Yes, he can. A good performance by Mark Felix in his very first ever World's Strongest Man contest. But Samuelson had the edge in the end. And you get the impression that Samuelson just did enough. Wrestling. This is strength in its purest form. Wrestling, man against man, no equipment. It's two points for a win, three fights, and one point for a loss. But you must stay in the ring for 10 seconds to gain that point. Gentlemen, the indeed. Grenadian Mark Felix, slightly the taller, up against the Viking one Dane under, Rene Minkvitz, who is slightly heavier than Mark. Ready! Rennie Menquist is a prison guard, so he's used to wrestling guys, but I wonder if he's ever wrestled anybody the size of Mark Felix. I've been very impressed with Mark Felix so far in the top six competitors after the first programme, but there he was bundled out of the ring. And he looked as though he almost weighed next to nothing. Tremendous power Gentlemen, from Rene Minkvitz. So Mark Felix has to come back hard here. Mink Fitz looking incredibly okay, aggressive, on one under, one incredibly determined. And Ray. I think Mark Felix a little bit intimidated by the form of the Dane, and he's going again, and he's gone. Now, Felix. was that to Felix, or was it to Mink Fitz? It was to Felix. Round number two to Mark Felix. I thought the Grenadian had lost that, so it's one all. <coughs> and sudden death now. Engage. Whoever wins this third bout gets maximum points. Now then, a bit, Felix. can Mark Take Felix ring, please. get his Felix, long arms wrapped around the bulk More. of Rene Minkvitz? Minkvitz way over okay. 55 inches Ray. in terms of his chest size. Mark Felix very athletic, but Minkvitz just picks him up like a doll. Minkvist. And Minkvitz has won. And Mark Felix looks the so surprised there. Rene Minkvitz. Rene Minkvitz delighted with his point score. I tell you what, he's a shocking dancer. It's a good job he's so strong. And you go either way, it's 50 50. You don't know where you are. You're just a little bit crazy when you're in there, and then just suddenly you slip and then and you lose one match, but you still have two others to go. So. But I still think it's a very dangerous event. I enjoy to tell it short. I like stuff like that. Um, the reason, because I couldn't get a grip on my back foot, that's why it was just. just Get me out of the ring so easy. Giant farmers walk. It is getting yeah, very tense, you know, but I wouldn't give up till the end. I'm gonna just go, you know, all the way, you know, just to do my best. I'm not gonna be bothered too much what my opponent do. I just want to try to finish it. That's my main goal for today from this event. Well, it's certainly wet underfoot, and that was because Hurricane Jean almost made it to Nassau. Take your grip. But Sven Carson up against Mark Felix. And Sven Carson, one of the great farmer's Are walkers in the world. Mark Felix has got a very strong grip. On the other hand, Sven Carson doesn't. So I'm tipping a win here for Mark Felix. Away we go. 160 kilos in each hand. Over 350 pounds, and Felix already struggling a little bit. And I think Mark Felix can count himself unlucky that he's been drawn against this man, Sven Carson, who's rock solid, gaining bonus points all the time. Mark Felix looking a little bit wobbly, but even the great man himself, just before the line, he dropped those weights and eventually slid them over. So Viking Power has done it again. Mark Felix, he's got to try and finish this to get all the maximum bonus points. He says he wants to become world's strongest man one day. He came up against one of the all-time greats in this contest, Sven Carlsen. Absolutely superb, once again from the Norwegian. Are you a little bit disappointed you couldn't get to the end with that? Yes, because it was so close. 
So, but it's six points and that's the most important now. The knee is kind of weak because um, it's a bit sore, but I still wanted to compete the course. So we'll get five points. Bike walk. 410 kilograms has to be lifted and carried 18 meters to score one point. The finish line is at 30 meters and that's five points. And remember a bonus point for the winner. It's going to be tough, but I'm ready for it. I'm going to just get stuck in and just head for the finishing line. You know, so I'm looking forward to it. Just I've got to make every event like if it's my last event. Yeah, so I'm ready. Is the key thing here to not drop it? Um, maybe not serious. If I drop it, I think maybe I lift it again. Yeah, but it's, of course it's, it's important if you finish it in one row in one time it's not drop it that uh, but uh, uh, for me I think tactical is uh, finish it only if I mark beat me it's not important and uh, but it's a take of five points it's very important and the newcomer to world's strongest man Mark Felix up against a man in Raymondsburg Manors who's finished third and fourth in his last two world's Take strongest man finals are you ready Felix needs good points the York race. This is going to be difficult for Mark Felix. But for Bergmanis, the heavier the yokes, the better he likes it. Lift! Douglas Edmonds gets them on their way and Felix has gone down. On the far side of the yellow t-shirt, Bergmanis, solid as a rock. Not great in terms of speed, but look at the difference. Mark Felix wobbling all over the place. Bergmanis just cruising down the course. 410 kilos, 904 pounds. And there's a big, big gap now growing between Bergmanis, the old stager, and Mark Felix, who's going to be out of the big points once more. And it really is getting to the stage of the competition where not only is Bergmanis now making his push for the final, but that Felix is falling short of the sort of standard that might take him through to the final. I just wonder whether he can actually finish. There is a time limit of 60 seconds. Good on you, Raymond. Give our lad a cheer. I say our lad, of course, he's representing Grenada, but he does live in the United Kingdom. Desperately trying to finish, he's just short. So won't pick up the maximum amount of bonus points. He only gets three, and Raymond's Bergmanus takes all of the points here. Mark Felix then took on Hugo Gerard. Felix only made it through one lap, but it was good enough to beat the Canadian, whose foot injury was making the task almost impossible. Girard then withdrew from the competition. I'm going to approach it positively, just like I did in Britain. I'm hoping to get all the seven up today. I mean, it's kind of heavy, but I'm pretty consistent with the deadlift, so I'm looking forward to getting all of them. Tell you what, it would be remarkable if he did manage to get all of them up. Nobody has done it Take in this year's World's Strongest Man so far. Lift. Mark Stay. Felix gets away to a quick start. I have to say, he looks Lift. every inch a strong man. Stay. Bristling with muscles. Lift. A lot of support here. Stay. And a big cheer every time he makes one lift. His uncle was the strongest man in Grenada, so it's obviously in the family. He's going to go into the lead, and he does it comfortably. Good points for Mark Felix. He needs to make a little bit of a push now to try and make sure he gets into the top six. There's still a few events to go, and Mark Felix, one more barrel, but I think he's had enough. He really has enjoyed himself out there. There's his wife, Denny, and the two kids. Absolutely super. Truck pull. I'm going to just go for it. You know, I want to go flat out. Represent Mark Felix has Grenada. to go flat out. Marius Pudzianowski is the opposition, and he is very Take tough indeed. Slam. Go! So the Grenadian favourite here in the Bahamas gets this 10 ton truck underway. He competed in Britain's Strongest Man this year and this certainly was not his best event. He's much better at pressing events with those giant arms, but he's going all right. Come on, Mark Felix, you've got a lot of work to do. Well, wearing rock climbing boots just to get a bit of extra purchase on the tarmac road here. 
He's wobbling about all over the place. He needs to try and keep in a straight line. But luckily the truck is still going. If he could just use those arms a bit more to pull him forward, that would do him the world of good. 35 metres the course, and the front of the 10-ton lorry has to go over the line, so he's not finished yet. Puffing and blowing, he's got it. He's got his five bonus points, but will it be fast enough to beat the pole, Marius Budzinovski? I've been doing a lot of practicing, a lot of training um, before I come here. Um, I just have to remember that I'm still under the weight, and that's what I did. And I just drive straight through, keep my head straight up. So I'm pleased with that. Bingo, bingo. Amid the palm trees down on a sun kissed beach, five Fingal's fingers, named after the mythological Irish giant, that have to be picked up and pushed over each one in turn. The heaviest weighs 300 kilograms. What about actually doing this on sand? Is that going to be tricky? Mm. I, I, you know, I can see injuries, maybe. You know, it's, uh, I know they've compacted the ground, but even so, it's still, still a bit slippy on the foot, so maybe four might win it. I've never done it on sand before, but I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, I'm going to make sure that I apply the right technique to get all five up today. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Brave Take words up. indeed by Mark Felix. Mark Felix is tall enough to toss all five fingers. Aid Rollison never has tossed five before, so it's now or never for Adrian. So Mark Felix. One of the first times he's ever done the Fingal's fingers. Adrian Rollinson, he knows this equipment well. That is over for one bonus point for each of them. 200 kilos on to 225. The technique is relatively simple. It's the balance that can be the problem. Very dry, no problems with wet Fingal's fingers at all. There's a bit of a breeze blowing here on the beach. Uh, this is a good effort by both of them so far. Adrian Rollison and Mark Felix on the far side, making slow and steady progress. That's what it's all about. There's his wife, Helen, and son cheering on dad and husband, Adrian. And Mark Felix is gone. His effort and his hope of getting five, well, it's disappeared altogether. Adrian Rollison now, though, on number five. He lifted four up in 49.73, and that means he's got the extra bonus point for beating Mark Felix, but now he wants another point for getting number five. That would be terrific. I'm not sure either of these two guys can make it through to the final now, but Adrian Rollinson has put up another good performance beating Mark Felix. Zavikas. How many do you think you can manage? Well, it's a bit heavier than the one that we do in Britain, but I've been practicing, shoulder gets stronger, so... I reckon I could go to the full 10, 11. Well, he certainly does not lack ambition, that's for sure. Mark Felix to go next, desperate to get more points. West. Well, I certainly hope that Mark has enjoyed well, his first excursion into the World's Strongest Man competition. No doubt about the fact he's found some of the events very difficult. Down. He is packed full of talent in that massive body. Down. Bring it in, Is please, that two? bring it in. Well, he wants bring to get the weight in. back on the platform. I'm not sure he's been given that, to be honest. Nope. No, he won't be given lock that one either. You've steady, got to please. lock the arms out. You've got to stay absolutely still. He's finding it difficult. Zavika safe, I think, in first place. Down. That surely is given. So Mark Felix believes he can become the world's strongest man one day. It's going to take a huge amount of training and practice. He's wobbling around all over the place. If anybody's ever been in a gymnasium with a weightlifting bar and hoisted it above their head, you know how difficult this is. But when it's structured like this, and the weights are swinging around, it really is a problem. It's also thicker, that weightlifting bar across the top, than a normal one as well. And if you've got small hands, well, it's a compounded problem too. But Mark Felix, one event away from his last appearance, I think, in World's Strongest Man. He's been beaten here by a brilliant Felix, performance by Zidrunas Savikas. And, and the Lithuanian should Zavikas. maintain his position at the top of the leaderboard. I thought I was unlucky. I was a bit wobbly up in the air. But 
Oh, disappointed. I think I should have got more than that, but anyway, just unlucky.